is the law. On February the 1st, 1887, the Lady Vane was lost by collision with a derelict when about the latitude one degree south and longitude 107 degrees west. What is the law? On January the 5th, 1888, one Edward Prentick, a private gentleman who had been on board the Lady Vane at Calau and who had been considered drowned, was picked up in latitude 5 degrees south and longitude 101 degrees west in a small open boat of which the name was illegible. What is the law? The law? What is the this law? This is the account of his what experiences the law? on what is believed to be what Noble's is Isle, the law? which is located at latitude what 5 degrees law? south and longitude what 105 degrees east. Wow! What is the law? Which he insisted upon referring to as the island of Dr. Moreau. What is the law? 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 What is the law, Mr. Prendick? What is the law? Law. No, no! Steady, old man. Steady. What? What? How? It's all right. Trust me. <coughs> You've had a rough go. <coughs> Picked you up on a small boat, starving. The name of the boat was uh, Lady Vane. W was, were there any others? No. Just you and several bloodstains on the gunnel. It was night. We ran into a derelict of some kind. Sank like a rock. Sank like a damn... Here, have some of this. Oh, tastes like blood. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Stop your coughing, though. Oh, oh, what? You were in luck, you know, getting picked up by a ship with a medical man on board. That's me. Name's Montgomery. Uh, Prendick, Edward Prendick. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what, what ship is this? It's a little trader from Africa and Cayo. Never asked where she came from in the beginning. <laughs> Out of the land of born fools, I guess. <laughs> Stop that damn howling, you blasted freak! Damn the man! Excuse me, old chap. Problem on deck. Captain's drunk. Again. Uh. Uh, no, wait, uh, where, where, where are we bound? To an island. Where I live. So far as I know, it hasn't got a name. Excuse me. If you do that again, I'll break your blasted neck, you misbegotten piece of... Look here, Captain. That just won't do. Right. This won't do. Can't just stay here like a damned invalid. <laughs> Don't tell me what I can and can't do, you stupid sawbones. Now see here, Captain Davis. Melinda's a paying passenger, and as such... Damn so hands can't even buckle it. Ugh, there. Now we'll just see what's happening. Oh, Lord. Go to hell, sawbones. Do what I like on my own ship. Animals. Cages and cages of animals. Your sailors began to haze the poor devil as soon as he came aboard. My ship was a clean ship. Look at it now. Just look at it's it. A menagerie. A, a floating menagerie. Staghounds, sheep, a, a bloody llama. Wow! <laughs> God, a, a puma. You agreed to take the animals. I wish I'd never set eyes on your infernal island. What kind of devil wants beasts for an island like that? Hit me. With his fists, hit me. And that man of yours, damn ugly brute. If he comes this end of the ship again, I'll cut his insides out, I tell you. Cut out his blasted insides. I tell you, I'm captain of this ship. Captain and owner. I'm the law here, the law and the prophets. You agreed to... I agreed to take a man and his attendant to and from Africa and bring back some animals. I never agreed to take a mad devil and a silly sawbones and a pack of smelly, screaming, howling... Burn ho! What? Burn ho! We 
believe we have reached our destination, Captain Davis. Perhaps you'd care to continue this discussion with our mutual employer? I'm certain he would be most interested in your sentiments. Ah, oh, damn you! Damn you! Ah, uh, get those crates hooked up! Mind you, blasted mother sons! Get them cranes ready! I want them blasted animals over the side, you hear me? Over the blasted side! What kind of sea-going madhouse is this? Hit me! With his fist, hit me! He does not know the law! It does not matter. He's nothing. The master comes. Go and prepare for him. I go and prepare. <laughs> uh, your man, um, is, is, is there something wrong with him? Malang? Ah, he's a good one. Does what he's told. With nothing personal, old man, but he looks like he was in an accident. Put back together blindfolded. Boat cover starboard! Boat cover starboard! Prendick, you strike me as an educated man. Man of the world. Yeah. You're sharp, but a really sharp man keeps, thi <clears throat> keeps things to himself. Never knows who might be listening. I, I'm sorry, I'm sure. I didn't mean to... to... Comes! The master comes! It is the law! It is the law! Uh, overboard with him! Overboard with him! We'll have a clean ship soon, clean of the whole boiling lot of them! Uh, look here, Montgomery... Uh, Montgomery? Hello? Where did he go? Oh, this whole ship is a floating insane asylum! Into the boats with them, lads! Dump the blasted beasts into the blasted boats! The hell with you, Sawbones! The hell with you and our mutual employer! I'm captain here, by God! I'm captain and owner! Uh, excuse me, Captain uh, 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 Davis? Who? I'm looking for Mr. Montgomery. I owe both him and you a, a debt of gratitude. Uh, my name is Prendick. Uh, Prendick be damned. Shut up! That's your name. Mr. Shut up! I beg your pardon? Cargo away, Captain. Cargo away. Uh, you want Mr. Second-Rate Sawbones Montgomery? Well, he's out there. Out there with his blasted brutes and his blasted bloody beasts and that blasted white-haired devil he works for. He's overboard, Mr. Shut Up, and that's where you're going. Grab him, lads! <laughs> Here, what do you think you're doing? Right, Captain. Hold us, sorry, Widow. Get his leg blasted, his leg. Get rid of the whole bloody life. Uh, Let the uh, doctor take care overboard, of him. Overboard, I say, Mr. Blasted Shut Up, and overboard, I mean, and sharp. We're cleaning the ship out, cleaning the whole blessed ship out, and that includes you. You can't do this! It's against every law! Be damned the law! I'm blasted sick of the blasted law! I'm the law here, Captain and owner! Hoist him, lads! Damn you, you bloody... Overboard! This ship ain't for beasts and cannibals, or worse than beasts anymore! Overboard you go, Mr. Shut Up! One! For the love of God, Davis! Two! Heave him! Best start swimming, Mr. Shut Up. Sharks ain't too picky about what they eat. <laughs> Damn you, Davis! You're no more a man than that blessed puma! Filthy hound! You hear me? You're a hound, Davis! A filthy, bloody hound! <sighs> Lord! Back in the water again. Not even a dinghy this time. I'm going to have to swim for it. That's all there is to it. Filthy hound! All right. All right, make the best of it. And there's the island. And Montgomery. And his launches. Not that far. Not that far at all. Right. Keep going. Just keep swimming, old man. <coughs> That's a ticket. Just keep swimming. You can do it. Clothes. Wet. I'm... <coughs> to keep going. Uh, we have to go back. We, he is none of our concern. Weaker than I thought, Lord. I have to keep swimming. I have to, I have to keep. We can't just let him drown. You are a sentimental <laughs> fool, Montgomery. On your head be it. Right, on my head be it. Row, lads. Row. Hang on, Prendick. Put your backs into it. Row. Row. Just, just, just for a moment. 
There's a little rest that keep going after that. Brendick! Don't flag out me no old man! Brendick! No, you don't! <laughs> Come on! Out of the side, you can do it! <sighs> I say, old man, making a bit of a habit of holding you up the drink. Hey, Mon Montgomery? Sorry about that. <coughs> Didn't expect him to just chuck you over the side like that. Uh, he's mean when he's drunk. Of course, he's always drunk. Wow, wow. Oh, God. If you are quite through with your humanitarian gestures, Mr. Montgomery, I suggest that we get back underway. I'll be much happier when our charges are in their new quarters. Right, Doctor. Good work, lads. Good work. Now, bring it around. Head for shore. Put your back into it. It is the law. Some rest. You'll be just fine. You're right, Montgomery. I do seem to owe you my life again. <laughs> uh, not me. Him. Excuse me, sir. Uh, my name is Prendick. Edward Prendick. You must be the employer Montgomery spoke about. I am Moreau, Mr. Prendick. Dr. Moreau. This is my island you are trespassing on. Trespassing? I say that's a, a bit rough. I... Still, you are here, so we'd best make the most of it. Montgomery says you're an educated man. Mr. Prendick says you know something of science. May I ask what that signifies? Uh, I, I spent some years at the Royal Academy of Science. Did some research in biology under Huxley. Under Huxley? Mm. Ah. Well, that alters the case a little, sir. As it happens, we are biologists here. This is a biological station. Another sort. That is the law. What is the law? I had Montgomery, at least. She's getting restless, my ling. Have the lads put a little more into it. The island awaits. Stroke! Stroke! The master command! It is the law! What is the law? To do the work of men! Are we not men? That is the law. What is the law? To do the work of men. Are we not men? That is the law. What is the law? the beach! Please see to the cargo, Montgomery. I'll go on ahead and see that everything is ready. Perhaps Mr. Prendick can be of some assistance to you. I, I would be glad to do whatever I can during my stay. Good, since your stay is likely to be a long one. Uh? We are off the track to anywhere. We see a ship once in 12 months or so. Uh, I'll see you at the enclosure, Montgomery. I say, Montgomery, your Dr. Moreau is a rather uh, forceful chap, isn't he? You don't know the half of it, laddie. Other boats are already unloading. Let's get a move on. But how are we going... Oh, how are we going to get that beast out? The cage has to weigh a ton and I don't see a crane or... Ah, the last thing we need. Maling! What is the law? It's to obey. That is the law. Are we not men? The master commands. The new one to the house of pain. The, the house of... Uh, what? It is the law. Are we... Not men! Good Lord! It is the law! To the house of pain! To the house of pain! Are we not men? It is the they law! just picked the bloody thing up, just reached down and picked it up! Well, we'd best get going. I say, Prendick, you're not gonna flag out on me again, are you? Uh, it's the, uh, those boatmen of yours? <laughs> They're big lads, aren't they? I've never seen anything like them! They're as strong as bulls! Yes, they are, aren't they? Some kind of old colonial outpost. Portuguese, we think. Abandoned for centuries. 
Just the enclosure walls left when we first got here. It's still a bit primitive, but it's home. Ah, here we go. Not much to look at, but the roof's getting thatched, and the door's a stout one. Hammock, table, chair, usual stuff. I'll try and rustle up some clothes. Thanks. As ordered. Food, my masters. Mm -hmm. I assume you're hungry, old chap. <laughs> Famished. Oh, tea. Proper tea. Fresh bread, jam. Make it ourselves. Lots of fruit here. Boiled squash, carrots, beans, corn. <laughs> what? No beef steak? No. No. That is the law. Not to eat flesh or fish. Uh, uh, what? what? Oh, uh, Lord. That is the law. Not to chase other men. Are we not men? That is the law. The master commands. That is the law. That is the law. Steady, my line. Steady. That is a good chap. Prendick didn't mean it. He's new. New? That's it. New. Like all the new ones. If you just run along and assist the master. It's a great honor to assist the master. It is the law. Yes. Yes. It is the law. It is the law. We don't men. Uh, I, I say, Montgomery, what, what did I do to uh, offend? My fault, old man. Should have told you. No meat eaten among the men. You have a uh, religious taboo against it. Oh. Makes them all upset if you mention it, so uh, don't. I, I, I won't. Still, there's something strange about your man. Strange? Well, for one thing, he has pointed ears. Damn. Pointed ears? Little points on them and fine black fur at the edges. I was under the impression that his hair covered his ears. I saw them as he stooped down to set the tray down. And his eyes glow in the dark. That's damn good tucker, this. You know, I always thought there was something strange with his ears. Uh, from the way he covered them up, what did you say they were like? They're pointed. Rather... Small and furry, distinctly furry. I'm sorry, Montgomery, but on the whole, he's one of the strangest beings I've ever set eyes on. Wherever did you pick him up? Uh, San Francisco. He's an ugly brute, I admit. Half-witted, you know. Can't remember where he came from, but I'm used to him. We both are. How does he strike you? He's uh, unnatural. There's something about him, don't think me fanciful, but he gives me a nasty sensation. A, a tightening of my muscles whenever he comes near. Wow! <laughs> it's a touch of the diabolical, in fact. Mm. What's wrong? I can't see it. I had no idea that... Hmm. Crew of the ship must have felt the same. You know, Dad set at the poor devils and the minute we got on board. In fact, it seems to me as if everyone on this island, except for you and me and Dr. Moreau, are, well... <laughs> are what? Well, uh, deformed. In some grotesque way or other. Is that what Moreau's work is? Working with deformities? <laughs> deformities. <laughs> yes, yes, I guess you could say that. Working with deformities, all that. That's rich. That's really rich. <laughs> <laughs> Master sends for the other. Says the time is right. The great work begins. The master sends. It is the law. Right. On the way. Listen, Prendick, old man, mm. you're pretty ragged out. Finish up the tucker. Get yourself some serious sleep. We'll have a good chin in the morning. Give you the lay of the land, so to speak. Certainly, Montgomery. That would be a... <laughs> Master sends. It is, is the, the law. Yes, I know. It is the law. It is the blessed bloody law. Lord, what kind of an asylum have I fallen into? Still, he's right. Just about done in all round. That sounds real good to me. Oh, yes. That sounds real good. Mm. Mm. Ex 
extra, extra. Read all about it, ladies and gents. Read all about the Moreau horrors. Read all about the Red Death House of Gower Street. Famous doctor condemned by Royal Academy. Read all about living butchery. Horrible mutilations. Read all about it. Death and destruction and the bloody knife. Crimes against God and man. The Moreau horrors. Read all about it. Read all about it. What? Oh, God. Oh, Moreau. The vivisectionist. How could I have forgotten that name? It was everywhere it was. That's no animal. That's no... No, it, it can't be. The door. Uh, where, where's the plastic? Ah, here, here it is. From the enclosure. What are they doing in there? Tighten the straps, damn it! The lip sutures are breaking. We've got to work faster. She's stronger than other. Wall. Uh, here's the wall. Just, just swallow it down. Lip construction completed. Insert the clamps. I have to start on the tongue. Mouth clamps inserted. Don't oh, stand the nasal construction. The blood's going to choke her, and I can't see what I'm doing. Malign, bandages. Oh, must be. Uh, I've seen that. Oh, God. What are they doing? Malign! It is the law. That's better. Much. Oh, God. Now grasp, hold, and... Slice! <laughs> yes! What are you doing? Brenda, what in God's name are you doing? Sweet Jesus. Oh, get that idiot out of here. They'll ruin everything. That woman, that poor woman. Brenda, get out. You don't understand. You monsters. You bloody inhuman monsters. Helen Blast, Montgomery Toomey, Beling, remove him now. It is the law. It is the law. Are we not men? It is the law. You don't, you bloody brute. No. Don't. Struck me, he did. With his fist struck. Prendek, you bloody monsters! Prendek, don't be an ass, man. Don't forget that fool. The straps, Montgomery, the damn straps. That bastard's ruining everything. No! Oh, God. Oh, God, the horror. What they were doing. Oh, sweet Lord, what they were doing. Oh, woman. Blood all over the place, all over Montgomery. All over Moreau, all over. Uh, animals aren't good enough for him anymore. He's cutting up people. The butcher's cutting up people. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Prendick! Prendick! Come on, old man. We know you're out there. It can all be explained. Don't be a bloody ass, Prendick! 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 Not damn likely, Montgomery, old man. Probably end up like everyone else on this nightmare island. Damn. Now what? He can't go back. He can't stay here. <laughs> I'm sorting to Miss Joni. You! Oh, what? <laughs> you, 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 uh, you! Stay away from me. I'll, I'll, I'll do you in if you don't stay away from me. You! In the boat, you! Uh, saw you! Yes. I came in the boat uh, from the ship. Yes, from the boat, from the sea. Uh, hand good. Good hand. My hand? Uh, what about my hand? Five! Five good! Like mine, see? One, two, three, four, five, eh? What is the law? Five fingers are good. Uh, are we not bad? Well, yes, I, I, I guess we are. Uh, look, do you know where I can get something to eat? Eat? Eat man's food now, at the huts. But where are the huts? Oh. Oh, I, I'm new, you know. Oh, new, from the sea. From the house of pain. Yes, from the house of... Come, come, to the huts. To the seer of the law! Come, come! Is, is it much farther? No, farther! The huts! The huts! Behold! It is a man! It is a man, a man, a fight man like me! A new one! Hey, a man! A man! But a half a pound! Come here! Silence! He is a man. He comes to live with us. Oh, God. Look at you. God. Just look at you. What has he done to you all aboard? Monstrous. Monstrous. It is a man. 
He comes to live with us. Say the words. Say the words. Uh, say, he, he, he comes to live with you. <laughs> he is a fine man, man, a fine man, a fine man, like me. Give me his hand. Hey, hey. He has small nails. It is well. Here, here, yes. eat roots and herbs. For you, eat. It is his will. Uh, his will. I am the sayer of the law. Here come all that be new to learn the law. I sit in the darkness and say the law. It is even, even so. so. Evil are the punishments of those who break the law. None escape. None, None escape. escape. None escape. See, I did a little thing, a wrong thing once. I jabber, 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 stop talking. None could understand. I am burnt, branded in the hand. He is great, he is good. None escape, none, none escape. escape. For every one, the want, that is bad. What you will want, we do not know. We shall know. Someone to follow things and move, to watch and slink and wait and spring, to kill and bite, bite deep and rich, sucking the blood. It is bad. Bad. He is a man. He must learn the law. The law. The law. He must the learn the law. law. It is good. The law. The law. The law. The law. Say the words. What is the law? What is the law? Not to go on all fours. That is the law. Are we not men? It's not to go on all fours. Uh, that is the law. Are, are we not men? <laughs> what is the law? Not to suck up drink. That is the law. Are we not men? What, what is, is the law? law? Not to suck up drink. drink. That is, is the law. law. Are we not men? What is the law? Not to eat flesh or fish. That is the law. Are we not men? What, what is, is the law? law? Not, not to eat flesh, flesh or fish. fish. That, is that is the law. law. Are, are, we we not are we not men? What is the law? Not to claw a bark of trees. That is the law. Are we not men? What is, is the law? law? Not, not to claw the bark, bark of trees. trees. That, that is, is the law. law. Are, Are we, we not men? men? What is the law? Not to chase other men. That is the law. Are we not men? What, what is, is the law? law? Not, not to chase other, other men. men. That, that is the law. law. Are, Are we not men? men? What is his? This is the house of me. What is his? This is the house of Master, it is the law. It is the law. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! No! There he is, Doctor. Prandic, Prandic, old man, come back, you damn fool! Where do you think you're going, Prandic? Prandic! Don't just stand there, you bloody idiots! Go after him. Not to run after other men. That is the law. Oh, bloody hell! Yes. To get away. Must be a way off this godforsaken island. A, a boat, a raft, a, a log, something. Mustn't let them catch me. Mustn't, mustn't let them catch me. Good morning, Mr. Prendick. Oh, God. There they are. The master has found the new one. It is the law. Might I ask why you have abused my hospitality and upset my people so? Why? Because I don't fancy being tortured by you. Tortured? <sighs> I told you so. Shut up, Montgomery. <laughs> what makes you think that I would torture you? <laughs> because of what I saw in the enclosure. And because of those, those yonder. Be quiet, you bloody fool. I will not be quiet. They were men. <laughs> What are they now? I at least will not be like them. Who are these creatures? They were men, men like yourselves, whom you have infected with some bestial taint. 
men whom you have enslaved and whom you still fear. You who listen, do you not see that these men still fear you? Go and dread of you. Why then do you fear them? You are many! For God's sake, stop that, Prendick! Prendick, listen to me for a moment, then you can say what you will. Latin, Prendick, bad schoolboy Latin. Hi, non, sunt homines. Sunt animalia qui nos habemus vivisected. A humanizing process. What kind of a fool do you take me for? Just come back with me and I will explain. Oh, a pretty story. They talk, they build houses, cook. They were men. Prendick. Helen Blast. Here. Uh, wait, what? It is my gun, Prendick. Go ahead, take it up, arm yourself. <sighs> now that you feel more secure, perhaps you'd like to think several things over. In the first place, I never asked you to come to this island. In the next, if we had wanted to work you any mischief, we would have drugged you and done it last night. You seem very secure. Why shouldn't I? I am the master, and the law is strong. Look at them. If I shot you, they would consider it just and proper. If you shot me, however, they would probably tear you apart. Of course, I'd be dead, too, so I don't consider that a viable alternative, but... Come on, Prendick. This has gone on long enough. You just upset everyone and made us miss breakfast. Then... Then they're just animals. Just cut-up animals. They are much more than that. They are the result of 40 years' work and research. 40 years of fools and idiots like you. Yeah, but, but last night in the, in the enclosure, the, the woman... That was the puma. All right. All right, I'll take the risk. That's better. As it is, you've wasted the best part of my day with your confounded imagination. Go back. Go back to the huts. It is the law. Go back. Go back. It is the law. It is the law. Are we not men? It is the law. Are we not men? It is the law. Hurt. Hurt. Lord. Then you admit that this vivisected human being, as you called it, is, after all, only the puma. It, uh, God, it is the puma. Still alive, but so cut up and mutilated as I pray I may never see living flesh again. Oh, oh never violence. mind that. Montgomery, please see to her. The cranial sutures seem to be holding. I want to start on the new leg and ar arm articulations as soon as she's strong enough. I will now waste valuable time explaining myself to our guest. Right, Doctor. This way, Mr. Prendick. Sit down, Mr. Prendick. I at least intend to be comfortable during this. You're creating men out of animals. Very good, Mr. Prindick. Actually, I'm puzzled why the things I've done here have not been done before. Small efforts have been made, amputations, tongue-cutting excisions. Of course, you know that a squint may be induced or cured by surgery. Then in the case of excisions, you have all kinds of secondary changes, pigmentary disturbances, modifications of the passions, alterations in the secretions of fatty tissues. I, I have no doubt that you've heard of these things. Of course, but these foul creatures of yours... Are my life the study of the plasticity of living forms? Surgery is much more than the trivial cases of alteration. It is the building up as well as the breaking down. The creatures you have seen are animals, carven and wrought into new shapes. But it is not simply the outward form of an animal I can change. Oh, no. The physiology, the chemical rhythm of the creature may also be made to in undergo an enduring modification. You see, it is a possible thing to transplant tissue from one part of an animal to another, to alter its chemical reactions and methods of growth, to modify the articulations of its limbs, and indeed to change its most intimate structure. After all, the truly great difference between man and monkey when you get right down to it is in the larynx. And I can 
change that. But why human forms as a model? There seems to be a, a strange wickedness in that choice. Oh, I might just as well have worked to form sheep into llamas and llamas into sheep. I suppose there's something in the human form that appeals to the artistic turn of mind. <laughs> but uh, I still do not understand what is your justification for inflicting all this pain? The only thing that could excuse vivisection to me would be some application. No, oh, but uh, there you see is where we differ. You, sir, are a materialist. I am not a materialist. Oh, in my view, for it is just this question of pain that parts us. So long as visible or audible pain turns you sick, so long as your own pains drive you, so long as pain underlies your propositions about sin, so long, I tell you, you are an animal. Thinking a little less obscurely than an animal does, pain is such a little thing. How can you say such a thing? Because it is true. I see a demonstration's in order. This is a perfectly ordinary pocket knife. This is my perfectly ordinary thigh. Watch carefully. Oh, Jesus. Pain is such a little thing, Mr. Prendick. The capacity for it is not necessary in the muscle and is not placed there. There's no taint of pain in the optic or auditory nerves. Pleasure and pain, <laughs> what are they but Muhammad's hoary in the dark? It is the results that matter, to find out the extreme limit of plasticity in a living shape. But it is an abomination. To this day, I have never troubled about the ethics of the matter. The study of nature makes a man at least as remorseless as nature. I have gone on, not heeding anything but the question I was pursuing, and the material has dripped into the huts yonder. It has been 11 years since we came here, Montgomery and I. I remember the green stillness of the island and the empty ocean about us as though it was yesterday. The place seemed waiting for me. I began with a sheep and killed it after a day and a half with a slip of the scalpel. I took another sheep and made a thing of pain and fear. It looked quite human to me when I'd finished with it. But it remembered me, and it still had only the wits of a sheep and was terrified beyond imagination. The more I looked at it, the clumsier it seemed, until at last I put the thing out of its misery. These animals without courage, with a spark of pugnacious energy to face torment, they are no good for man-making. Then I took a gorilla. What is the law? Are we not men? That is the law. Oh, I worked. What How I is worked. The law? With infinite are we care not and mastering, men? difficulty after that difficulty, I made my What's first man. In the law? All Only the week, night and day, I molded him. By broken bone and sliced skin and suture what and graft, I molded him. And in the end, he was a man. Montgomery and I kept What's working on him, taught him the rudiments of English counting, even got him to read his alphabet. And when he was ready, he assisted us, and the great work began. Eleven years. Still, there is something in everything I do that defeats me, makes me dissatisfied, challenges me to further effort. Sometimes I rise, sometimes I fall, but always I fall short of the things I dream. The human shape I can now get with ease, but it is the subtle grafting and reshaping one must needs do to the brain that my trouble lies. The intelligence is often oddly low, with unaccountable blank ends, unexpected gaps, cravings, instincts, desires to harm humanity, a strange hidden reservoir of violence that bursts suddenly and inundates the whole being of the creature with anger, hate, fear. First one animal trait, then another, creeps to the surface and stares out at me. 
but I will conquer yet. Each time I dip a living creature into the bath of burning pain, I say, this time I will burn out all the animals. This time I will make a rational creature of my own! After all, what is 11 years? Man has been a hundred thousand years in the making. And the, the people in the huts, what about them? They dread this place, and me. Mm -hmm. Montgomery looks after them in his fashion. I, I believe he rather likes them. They're odd, complex like everything else alive. There's a, a kind of upward striving in them, part vanity, part waste sexual emotion, part waste curiosity. It only mocks me. I have some hope for the puma. <laughs> I've worked hard on her head and brain. And there you have it. Are you in fear of me still? Not, uh, not in fear. In awe, perhaps, but not in fear. I shall settle for that. You've had two eventful days. I should advise some sleep. Good night, Mr. Prindick. Good night, Dr. Moreau. God have mercy on your soul. What? Uh, uh, come in, come in. Uh. Oh, good morning, Prendick, old man. It's breakfast. Isn't that right, my ling? Fresh bread, my masters. Fruits of the island. Tea. Sit it out, old thing, sit it out. Need to get our strength up. Uh, uh, why? The great work calls. The master calls. Uh. I used to reach new levels with the puma. It needs more than just my ling and I to finish it up. Mm. Mm. Well, sitting half bad. You have to try some. Moreau wants me to help with... with, with. She's very strong and there isn't a lot of time. The others are already gathering outside the enclosure. You really need to eat something. Why? Because if you don't know, you won't until the work's done. Trust me on this old man. You won't have the stomach for it. Well, no, I didn't. We're in that time. Eat. Good. Now there's a ritual to these things. They know when a new one is being created. They gather outside the house of pain to chant welcome. We're going to have to go by them. Don't show fear. Don't act like you see them at all. This is the great work. Do you understand? I understand. And let's get on with it. Malin, it's time. Open the door. As you command, my master. What is his? His is the house of pain. Oh, what is so his? Of them. His is the hand that heals. Hey, what is his? His is the hand that heals. His is the hand that heals. His is the hand that heals. What is his? His is the lightning flash. His is the deep soft sea. What is his? His are the stars of the sky. Keep walking. <laughs> Tighten legged chest straps. She almost got loose last time. <laughs> Tighten <laughs> chest straps. <laughs> Secure head clamps. <laughs> Uh, head, head clamps secured. <laughs> Set the arm straps and secure. This is the hand that heals. This is the hand that wounds. Preparing to straighten and reconstruct left femur. Ready. Breaking left femur now. <laughs> Tighten leg straps. Pull, Danny, pull. Clap new leg down. Reset. Done. <laughs> Suture it! Breaking right, Thema. Sweet Jesus. Pull, Prendick! Keep the tension until the Thema straps back into shape. 
Prepare the graft tissues. Muscle tissues ready. Left leg first. Suitors. Suitors! Here! And here! And here! These are the stars in the sky. These are the trees in the woods. Good. Good. Right leg tissue. Here goes. Got it. Sutures. Here. And and here. And here. This is the lightning flash. This is the deep short sea. Prendic bandages. Wrap the legs. Damn blood's getting all over the place. Bandages, man. Bandages. Uh, ba bandages. Going on. Hurts. Head clamps. Check the bloody head clamps. She's going to hurt herself. Head clamp. A little help, Hermelaine. This is the house of pain. This is the hand that makes. Are you quite finished with the legs, Brendek? Legs are, are, are wrapped. Then it's done. Done. Oh, God. bloody time. We are his. We are his. Oh, we God. are his. Blood. We are his. I've never seen so much blood. The great work. Yes, they have that right, my poor beast people. Look at her, Brendick. Isn't she beautiful? Bandages. Just, just a mess of oozing bandages in the shape of a human being. Look beyond your stupid ape morality, Brendick, and try thinking like a scientist. Look at her. Look at her legs. Straight and strong. Look at her back. Curved and graceful. No! Look at her head, her mouth, her eyes, bones broken and reset, molded and carved, the whole face, slicers and sutured and reformed. Look at her. God. Hurt. All my work, 11 years here, nine years in England, all for you, all for you. The shape of the head, the arch of the ears, the eyes, one the straps. You hurt me! I am the hand that hurts. I am the hand that hurts. The goddamn strips! Yeah! <laughs> 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 of her head in. Stop it! Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Help Jesus. me get her off him. Moreau. Moreau. The green stillness. The empty ocean. Island. Island. Isabel. Waiting for me. Oh, no. He's dead. He is dead. He is dead. Malang? He is dead. M Malang, he damn is you, dead. get back here. He Malang. He Malang. Well, <laughs> that tears it. What? They're all out there. Like I'll blab the whole thing. Moreau's, Moreau's dead. They'll all come in and see. No more master. No more house of pain. No more us. Right. Right. Uh, roll the puma to the foot of the table. Huh? Roll her to the foot of the table, damn you! <coughs> now, <coughs> help me have Thmurrow up on it. <coughs> you, you have a plan? <sighs> oh, God. I hope so. He is dead. He is not dead. He is not dead. He is dead. I saw. I saw. Steady. Steady. He is dead. Who? Is there a law now? Who says he's dead? Is it still to be this and that? The master is dead. Dead indeed. That one saw. He is dead. No. No. Is there a law now? Is it still to be this and that? Is he dead indeed? Is there a law, thou other with a whip? Is there a law now that he is dead? Oh, right. 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 Here it comes. Children of the law! Is there a law other from the sea? Is there a law now that he Children is... Children of the law, he is not dead! 
Though he lies yonder on his own bed of pain, he is not dead. He is not dead. He's not dead. He has changed his shape. He has changed his body. For a time you will not see him. He, he, he is there in, in the sky where he can, he can watch you. You cannot see him, but he can see you. Fear the law. He is great. He is good. He is not dead. No, he's not dead. Not dead at all. No more dead than me. One broke the law. She has died. See where she lies at his feet beneath the body he has cast aside because he no longer needs it. It is so. It is true. He watches in the sky. He watches in the sky. This is a very big thing. It is the biggest thing of all. What is the law? He watches. That is the law. Are we not men? He watches. He watches. That, that is, the is the law. Are we not men? men? What a muddle it all is. Eleven years. Eleven bloody years. And for what? Tears are the stars in the sky. Steady, Tears are Montgomery. the trees in the woods. Steady. It's like we're, we're bubbles blown by a baby. No. Damn it, no. He deserved more than that. Hear me. It is the law. Hear me. Montgomery. We hear, O oh other with a whip. It is the law. It, it is, is the law. law. The master has cast off his body, but it's not right that it should just lie there. We'll send it up to him, by God. Up to him in the sky. Out of your mind. Gather wood. Gather brush. Pile it round him. Bring food, damn it. Flames and feast for their master. It is the damn law. What are you doing? I'm just following your lead, Prendigal man. For the master! Flames and feast for the master! For the master! For the master! Go and gather, it is the law! Are we not men? It is the law! It is the law. Go! Go! He waits for us, buddy! He watches! He watches! Go! Go! Drums! Where are the bloody drums? For the master! Malang! His is the wind and the rain! His is the house of pain! Supply room! Bring out the kegs for the master. Kegs? For the master. For the master. For the master. Good God, man. You're not going to give these brutes drink, are you? Why not? <laughs> are they not men? <laughs> Let them be men. Let's all be men. This is the house of pain. This is the hand that makes. This is the hand that moves. That's it, lads. Pull it in. Pull it in. Stack it high. High for the master. Pays. Eggs, man. Eggs. Excellent. To the master in his house in the sky. Gather round, you lot. Gather round for the master. Drink. Drink. For the master. What do you think you Get your dirty hands off me. They were his, don't you understand? They were his. Now drink, you logic chopping. Chalky faced saint of an atheist. Drink! You're out of your mind! More than bloody likely! They were his, damn it! They were his! And so was I! It is night, O oh, other with a whip. Night. Yes. Night. It does, doesn't it? Then we will make it day. I can't let you do this! Oh, so <clears throat> sorry, old man. But I have to make it day now. And then all the making will be over. To the house of pain! Fire and feast for the master! To the house of pain! It is the law! It is the law! To the house of pain! Oh, my head. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Montgomery. What did you hit me with? What's that smell? Oh, God. Oh, God. He did it. He burned it all. The enclosure, the fort, all of it. God. There's one of the boatmen. Oh, God, the sake of the law. Shot. Montgomery, what have you done? You. You, you. You. What? You, five men. Five men. Like me. Easy. Like me. One, Easy. two, three, four, five. Like me. Like Easy. Me. Easy. What happened? Do you know what happened? The other, with the whip, with the water that burns. Damn you, Montgomery. Uh, fires. The master went to his house in the sky. Drums and food. It's the law. Fires. I heard. You see? Oh, God. Oh, God. Five. Five is good. Is the law? Are we men? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh God! Oh God! I don't know. What is the law? What is the law? Mr. Edward Prendick was discovered adrift in a small boat by the crew of the HMS Scorpion, suffering from exposure. What is the law? What is the law? His fantastic comments under medical care were dismissed as the ravings what of a man in the last the stages of starvation what and thirst. What is the law? What is the law? Thus, HMS what Scorpion did not stop at Noble's Isle which is located at latitude 5 degrees south and longitude 105 degrees east. What is the law? What is the law? Which Mr. Prendick what insisted upon referring to as the Iris of Dr. Moreau. What is the law, Mr. Prendick? What is the law? Law. Law. Wow! <laughs>